warning. This video will contain spoilers, so I do not want you coming from my cheeks going, Dr. Blit, how could you ruin the first episode of Dragon Ball Super? I can't live no more. This was the first episode, bruh. Nothing major happened. But anyway, don't come for my cheeks. I'm warning you, this will contain minor spoilers. And yeah. What's up guys, Dr. Blade the Darkest Man around, and Dragon Ball's back of the 18 long ass years bro. Gotta get a round of applause for Kerota Yamak, this guy, this guy made a bold decision to bring back Dragon Ball because that decision was bold, it was bold in the Krillin's head, it was bold in the Rock's head, it was bold in them Stone Cold Steve Austin's head, it was just a bold ass move, you know what I'm saying, it was a bold ass move, but Time will tell whether it was worth it. I'm pretty much going to be saying my thoughts and opinions about episode 1. And I'm just going to say this. The animation. Oh my gosh. It looks so damn nice. It looks so damn gorgeous. Oh my gosh, man. It looks so damn gorgeous, man. It looks so nice. It looks so nice. And I can see why they're easing us into it. And this episode, I really expected this episode to be like this. Because you need to take into account. This is the first episode. They want to ease people into it. And it's not really going to be that much different from the manga. Only slight details because anime and the manga, there's only details that were that are slightly alterated and changed, if you know what I mean. But other than that, it was pretty much the same as the manga. You see Goten in the trunks trying to buy Videl a present. And you see Goku like just like trying to be like trying to think about what happened to him before. Trying to think about the good old days when it was kicking cheek left, right, and center while he was on that tractor. Seeing um Cell, seeing Freezer, seeing Kid Buu, seeing all them legendary fights that he had in Z. And yeah, like Goku was reflecting on his time. But at the end of the series, Haku ends up giving him the money and is like, bruh, I, I know I know you hate your job. <laughs> just take this. I, I'm a I'm I'm balling the money already. I'm rich. I'm rich already. So just take this, bruh. Take this. You you just take this, bruh. Just take this. And Goku's like, nah, bruh. Nah, nah, bruh. I can't, I can't take it. But Huggins like, take the damn money, bro. Take it. Take it. Just take it. I don't know, because like, I don't know. I'll take it. Fine, fine, fine. Now I can go back to my training. That's pretty much it. It, that was, it was pretty much about, like, Goku's life after he's just defeated Majin Buu, Frieza, and Cell. Like, life after that. What happened to Goku next? And he was, he looked like a bored ass guy. That guy was so bored. He was reflecting about the good old times when he was kicking cheeks left, right, and center. And that episode was understandable, trying to get new people that are watching Dragon Ball to relate to it, to see what happened in the old ones, like, ah, oh, he fought um, Freezer, ah, oh, he fought Cell, ah, oh, he fought Kid Buu. It was trying to get people to relate to how things were back in the day. And yeah, like, I can see why they're doing this, because they want to get the new fans and the old fans to be able to sit down, get that fried chicken, get that Kool-Aid, and just watch. They want to get that feeling of, like, People wanted to watch and see what's going to happen next. And yeah, the first episode was, I'm not going to lie, because I couldn't understand it, I'm going to say it's boring. Because I can't understand it. I can't speak Japanese. I can't understand Japanese as well. So, that episode, I was I was more, I was so clueless. <laughs> I knew what was happening, but it wasn't really like, oh, this episode. It wasn't really that exciting. But for any of you guys, English dub should come out today, I think. But... Other than that, the episode was pretty. Alright, it was it was the first episode. You weren't expecting Goku to slam in and kick in cheeks left, right, and center. You heard that the polo outline for this, like if you've been following my channel from like from like when Dragon Ball Super kind of kicked off, you know that the first plot outline was gonna be like this. So you pretty much knew what you were expecting. You pretty much knew what you're sitting your cheeks down to. But other than that, I'm really looking forward to seeing the upcoming episode of Dragon Ball Super. Hopefully. It would not be a GT 2.0 and hopefully this will not be received as a failure of a series. Hopefully a character Yama make the right decision to bring back Dragon Ball. And yeah, that's pretty much been it. This has been your UK Chocolate Brother Dr. Blip at a time. For me to put down that fried chicken and the Kool-Aid and wrap up this video. Please comment and subscribe. I know I say this all the time, but at the end of the day, I'm just saying, please leave a like, rating, enjoy this video, and yeah, this UK, chat with me, catch you next one, guys. And guys, be sure to put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below what you, uh, what you guys actually think of Dragon Ball Super Episode 1. 
Just put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. Tell me what you think and your thoughts and opinions. Because I want to know what you guys are thinking. And yeah, catch you next time, guys. Bye.